Hi everybody, this is Tracy Stutter for Discovery Tech, and boy do I have a week for you. I have another wide angle this week, which means tons of stories giving you a broad perspective on one topic area. And this week we're talking about bird avoidance technology. We all know about the U.S. Airways flight that crashed into the Hudson River, and we're going to look at what people are doing these days to avoid those kinds of crashes. So here's what's on tap. What we know is birds and planes don't mix. When they collide, there can be damage to aircraft and it can put people at risk. So the first story in our series looks at what technologies people are using to avoid collisions. We start with a news story by Eric Bland that looks at radar from a company called Detect Inc. and what they're doing with it to avoid bird collisions. We have a top 10 featuring 10 bird strike stories throughout the history of aviation from near misses to direct hits and the aftermath that followed. Most bird strikes happen in airport environments where hundreds of flights are taking off and landing each day. Check out Lauren Efron's puzzle, which features big international airports and planes doing what planes do best. I have a slideshow featuring a range of techniques and technologies that airport personnel use to avoid bird aircraft collisions. There's radar, there are things like falconry, and loud cannons and pyrotechnics. I have an opinion piece from Bradley Blackwell of Wildlife Services at the USDA, and he explains that one effective avoidance technique might not come from the ground, but from the air. In his opinion piece, he explains how if airplanes were lit differently, birds might be able to see them better and avoid them. And lastly, Alyssa Danagallis asks, why is bird management at airports so complicated, and what techniques really work? You can find all those stories and a lot of other wide angles, plus lots of other content at technology.discovery.com. See you there.